Drone Days YouTube, what up? So we all know GTA, Grand Theft Auto for cars, shooting people, getting into car accidents and whatnot, driving really fast, kind of just breaking the law, right? Well, you guys know me, I'm all about drones, so uh, I'm about to show you something. Maybe some of you didn't know, maybe some some of you did know. Um, I will, it will show you guys how to do this, but let's get to it. Let's open up our gun cache and guess what? We are in a full acro drone. I have not set the settings on this. Uh, it's actually really, really touchy for me. Um, you can connect your Tyrannus to this. You can connect uh, Fly Sky to this. Um, myself, I just have a Game Sear game controller on it. Um, I'm new to Acro, and this is said to be one of the most realistic and visually entertaining acro simulators uh don't mind a little left to right shake there i'm on my laptop with this and this was also recorded via my fpv goggles i was doing this in my fpv goggles as well i have the, all that in tuned into my computer as well um this is awesome somebody with some serious skills with acro can do a heck of a run on here I ain't got those skills yet, so we're just kind of taking it easy here, but I just definitely wanted to show you guys that this can be done, and if you want to know how it can be done, you can stay tuned. We'll definitely have instructions for that, but a uh, little little underneath the bridge, a little flip Rudy, try to avoid that one, and then uh, we are going to crash. Bam! All right, guys, here we go. So, again, we know GTA for... Uh, for cars and whatnot and excuse the quality this was recorded with 5.8 gigahertz fpv goggles plugged into the laptop but car mods motorcycle mods money mods um this is a drone channel how about a drone mod uh what what you need to be downloading is uh i'm going to show you what you're going to need to be downloading you need this download the quadcopter download bams out right there i will have links down below you need the script hook v uh download right there and again i'll put links down below click that download quadcopter click that download um and then you also need this despite the fact if you're going to connect the tyrannus or a real hobby grade controller versus like a usb plug and play you need that otherwise it won't work so once you have all them you're going to need to find your file folder for the game this is my file folder. This is where all the information for the game is stored. So we are just going to slide this over here. Here, we can see the zip file. I've unzipped it. Here, you can see the zip file. I've unzipped it. And then we have here a zip file. I've unzipped it, but that's actually what it downloaded. I only downloaded one. I had to go on a, uh, a Google Drive to get that one. So you want to go in this one. There's nothing in this. So you need to just select all three of those. Bear with me here. I'm going to select all three of these. And then we're going to dump it into the file over there. Bam. You just drop it. I already have it over there, so I'm not going to do it. Then you go into the next unzip file. There's nothing here. This was the one for the game controller because it was a program that was in there once you unzipped it. But I'll show you here the programs down there. And again, that's how you calibrate your Tyrannus. That's how you calibrate a Fly Sky and whatnot if you are using it. If you're not using it, you don't have to worry about it, but you definitely do need it in there for the game. And again, just grab all three of these, dump them in there, and then uh, you're ready to go. Again, if you want to use a Tyrannus, you're going to have to double click that program down there. You're going to have to sync your Tyrannus with, uh, with the game, essentially making the game think that your Tyrannus is a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. You're going to have to set switches for a and b and whatnot so this is loading i'm speeding up this generally takes a lot longer than what i'm showing right here um but i've sped it up for time time wise just for you guys and uh here we go bam we are in the house we are going to walk out of the house and like i showed you in the first scene you need to come to a complete stop if you're moving this won't work you uh need to Bamzo up top. You can use enter to get in there. Tab will get into your gun cache. Hit enter, it'll do it. Or via the controller, you can get in your gun cache and then hit Y. And then bam. So we are in quadcopter mode. We are quadding GTA 5, man. And this is acro. And again, I do apologize for the quality. Um, 
my FPV goggles don't do really too well with the nighttime view. Um, I could have probably adjusted the settings on my goggles as to uh, have it record brighter and whatnot. It does really well with the daytime though. But as you can see, I'm able to fly here a little bit. We're not able to do precision moves like some of the guys can do stalls and follow cars and whatnot. I could do a little bit of acrobatics though. Nothing crazy though. Um, I am new. I only really have five real flights uh, on an FPV quad. And I've been playing around with, with simulators for the past day because it's going to be raining. And the left right shaking is probably uh, me using a laptop and it, it not being completely compatible with the game um, this is only doable via computer uh, you cannot do this on Xbox you cannot do this with PlayStation you need to do this on a computer if you get dumped in the water it's a little bit hard to get out of but that's a good time to show you the settings here there's all types of settings you can mess with man um, all types of settings if you uh, if you mess with them you go faster um, something along the lines of this where you adjust this that you know from uh, adjusting a hobby grade control where you can adjust everything and dial in it into the way that you want to fly the quad um, the only other thing that I'm gonna to really touch on here as far as all the settings because again you, you can play with it you can get it ideally to where you want it the stock way that it starts up is a way a little bit too fast for me as far as the pitching and the yawing and whatnot but uh, here I'm gonna show you something on a game controller and just as well as uh, any other type of like Xbox controller, go ahead and click that. You'll have full range of your left stick, your throttle stick, because uh, generally, normally it's centered. Um, and right now I have it pressed all the way down, so we're killing throttle. As it centers, we have throttle. That way you have full range. You definitely want to click that. Um, but all right, guys, I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed to this channel, smash that subscribe button. If it's a rainy day, that don't mean you can't go out and play. You can go on Grand Theft Auto and play and have a flight flight time session you could get some FPV practice in um, and if you get really good I've seen some people get really good at this on on this simulator and essentially it's the game it's not really a simulator but it's acting as similar I've seen people do crazy dives bridge loops again if you haven't subscribed please do alright take care guys